Empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight How's it going, everyone? Hey, guys, how you doing today? Brian and Dave here, checking in with you on our uh, our daily three o'clock stream here at Bricks and Mini Things Crest Hill. Uh, how's everybody feeling today? We've got uh, 14 viewers in chat already so far. Um, hopefully, we'll get up there. Uh, yeah, Chris is here too. How's it going, Aubrey? How's it going, Caden? Thanks for joining us, Carol, Christina. Everybody's here. Looks like a lot of those uh, parents and kiddos that have been submitting a lot of our our builds and stuff to us. So thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> If you guys, make sure you guys can hear us okay. If it, either one of us is a little loud, just let us know. Uh, we'll make sure we uh, get it adjusted accordingly here. And with some stuff, so. Some armor. Making sure these headsets fit. So good. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we are on day 14 today. I thought it was 13. No, we're, we're doing our 13th letter today. Oh, that's right. Day that's, 14 today. That's what throws us off. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're, we're always working there. the day ahead. Where we're actually rating on. So, um, Caden says they can hear perfectly. Awesome. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, we're here. Today is um, day 14, uh, day on, 14 our 13th on Monday. Day. Monday today, right? 
Yep, today's Monday. Days get lost to us sometimes. Yeah, today's that Monday. Um, we've got uh, Christopher here, uh, my son, or my oldest one. He's here again today. Um, he's got some other mics and stuff coming in. Don't worry about that. Pop up some. Gosh, man. Wait. <laughs> Do not pop up. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, Dave's here with his uh, his sixth and final of his yellow Mex today. Yeah, um, sixth and final of the A Mex, and this one's my best yet. Christopher's, uh, my son's brought some uh, other Mex and stuff here as well, and then Dave's got a bonus Mac to show uh, to well, show no, you. And what, no, that's not what I. Later. First off, it's not a Mac. Second off, I brought it so I could play with Chris. How's that not a Mac? <laughs> but I can show, it's show not it a Mac because. Well, how oh, is that not a Mac? Because it's Mac. more organic than it is. It's a Mac. It's not a Mac. It's Mac. a golem. It's a dude. Anyway, <laughs> agree to disagree. There. You know, you can agree <laughs> to disagree. <laughs> you need to know uh, your we're mythical glad, creatures. We're glad your daughter's excited. Uh, Marie, thank you for joining us uh, today. Um, so we've got our letter S for our yeah, Alfred letter Grove S. contest that we're going to be going over today. We've got our top three chosen already. Um, and our winners, uh, we've had about, I think it was 18 or 19 of the kid entries today. 19 five kids entries. and 5 adults. So yeah. thank you so, so much more for, than yesterday. for those submissions. We always like going over those. Um, I will say, uh, I can definitely say the kids, I think were a lot harder to join today than, or, or a lot, lot harder to pick today than the adults were. Yeah. Um, there was, we had about, really good out of, out of like this, I, I would say 18, let's say, let's go with 18 for now. Um, out of the 18 submissions, I think we had struggles over seven or eight of them. At least seven. If they should be I the top three or not. seven. Like, there was, was there was rough. a few that you and I were like, no, I like this one, but I like this one too, so. Yeah, actually, you know, let's see here. Go back in here, we got like five, ten. Nineteen. Nineteen? Nineteen, yep, nineteen submissions. So. We had a, we had a hard trouble, hard time on these guys. Um, first off, was a good letter, first off, so. props to you guys. Yeah, there's some definitely some creative builds. There's some time. real good S ones this time. Not this time. Big ones, small ones. ones. Yeah, all over Literally, the place. there was a couple small ones that we were just like, uh, can't we just pick this one? <laughs> it's like like seven pieces and it's done. It's like yeah. so simple. So thank you. Like I love this. It was yeah, it was a lot awesome. of fun, guys. <laughs> Um, and if you guys, like always, if you guys have anything that you uh, want to ask us, uh, myself, Dave, Christopher, or anyone else, or if you have questions for uh, Jessica Ewood, who is uh, one of the Leo Masters contestants that we've been working with lately, uh, she's got some really awesome uh, bows and stuff that she's going to give over to us, um, or sell us, I should say, um, to bring to the store here. Um, we actually are in talks right now about doing a custom bow specifically for our store, um, so that's kind of in the works right now as well. Um, we've been talking to Mr. Boone as uh, one of the other Lego Masters about possibly joining us on the stream um, sometime soon. I know he's got his stream back up and running. If you uh, haven't checked it out yet, it's Boone Builds, doc, or Boone Builds on YouTube right now. It's uh, his own channel. Um, really cool. It's really fun. Um, so uh, I think right away we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, our choices. Get to get through yeah. the slideshow. Let's go with the slideshow. So, Let's go with the choices and get this all all right. kind of done. So oh, we're going to go get through our – yep, I updated it. This is all updated now. Okay. Should be updated. Sure K was. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah, remember because it was JK, out. and then we thought we were going to get out ah. of Hold on, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on one second. Just trying a small technical difficulty with uh, our photo here. Not a huge deal. I mean, eh, whatever. Let's use the old one. So we got our Alpha Brick Builds contest uh, going on. Of course, we've got a bunch of different letters that we've already gone through and have been dealing with as far as all that goes. And uh, this one. Anyway, so we have our uh, kids' slides. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. So as you guys go through this, if you guys uh, have any comments about any of the builds, make sure you guys go ahead and throw them in the chat. Sorry. 
We'll definitely ask him. Yes, Caden, you did see him. <laughs> Yeah, so we hope you guys are having fun at home with everything. Um, definitely have a bit of, a bit to talk about today. Good news, bad news. Maybe they're both good news. Maybe they're both bad news. Huh. Got uh, the ship is awesome. Brooke likes the Brooke and the sandwich. <laughs> Brooke and sandwich <laughs> sounds like a show. Yeah. By the way, uh, Carol's daughter Brooke, I believe, is the one that did. Um, one of the Jessica builds that we sent to her. Oh, really? The, like, yeah. the bows? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jessica really loved those those uh, those photos and builds you guys did. Good. It was that was awesome. She she was like, oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Um, she had a really good time with us, and and luckily we've had a uh, a good relationship ongoing with her. Um, and hopefully we'll have just as good of a relationship with the other uh, Lego master builders. Well. So as you guys have seen through these, um. Aubrey's daughter, yeah. Aubrey's daughter, yeah. Um, so we have our top three. And those top three um, of our choices are Seasons on S by Madison S. Because <laughs> we have actually three different Madisons that are submitting photos now. Um, <laughs> we've got The Swimming Pool by Emma and Sleepover by Jason. These are the top three that we chose, um, our judges here. Um, at Bricks and Minifigs and some of our other friends in I do. Uh, home. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of want to point out, so with the sleepover, I thought it was kind of funny, too, because they're sleeping over, like, a stack of wood, like a plank or something. So it's like a sleeping on, sleeping right? over? Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Because <laughs> yeah. there's, no, there's nothing else. It looks like they're sleeping on that and they're, like, going down the riverbank or something. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, and then so uh, so on the left side we've got Seasons on S from Madison, uh, which on the very top starts with spring, um, goes through summer represented by the um, the surfboard and everything there, going into the fall colors and fall leaves, and finally down to the winter. Um, I would almost say that apple blossoms almost kind of a thing because there were okay. a few flowers that bloom in the winter along with some snow and everything else too, so it was cool. Um, the swimming pool by Emma is uh, built on what appears to be a 32 by 32 plate, 32 mm -hmm. stud plate. Um, where she used uh, multiple different colored slides to make a long uh, curly water slide, full pool, swim deck, palm trees, everything else on there as well. <laughs> Nicholas likes the swimming pool. Awesome. Just um, wait till the new swimming pool slides come out. <laughs> Guillermo uh, up at the sleepover, I think is what he was referring to. Reminds him of Jack and Rose from the Titanic, sleeping on the plank of wood. <laughs> maybe, maybe Jason could Pretty convert sure Jack over. Jack was in the water. Yeah, Jack would be in the water. Yep, but hey, it would be a good, a good tea build. Or a Titanic scene <laughs> or whatever. Um, and then finally, we've got the sleepover by Jason. Uh, he used a really good um, tile technique with the, the British brown tiles there to create that wood look um, with a couple kids laying down on the floor. Um, and I think there was, I, I can't see it in this photo, but I, I remember there was a, uh, uh, a little animal or whatever that was with them as well in that photo. The frog. The frog. I think the frog on frog. top of the uh, first. Yep, yep. There's a gray frog on him, and he's got a little, like a little can, a little drink next to him. Yeah, I so, know what I know what brick they're using too. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So our winner today, uh, for the letter S, is... is going to be Madison with seasons on S. Uh, it was a rough, a rough build, uh, but we thought that the the brick built S was really unique and how she captured those different seasons going on. Um, I would say the sleepover was probably the quick second, just because of how clean it looked. Yeah, um, I like the sleeping bag. And with the sleeping bag look, and I you just use a couple of those little one by two slopes to to kind of go cover them up. Um, so we thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, so congratulations like to Madison S. Um, for her win. Um, so I think that I think that puts each Madison at two or three now. Oh Those man, I, I think that is. All right, so, Madisons, keep it up. Yeah, Madisons are killing it right now. Um, so next we have our adult builds, uh, which we have five entries of. Uh, we've got a safe. Put them weeks. <laughs> and then we've got a school from Jennifer. We've got a Slytherin crest by Mary. So Slytherin is one of the houses from Harry Potter. 
represented by the snakes. We've got Swimming Pool in the Summer by Nikki. we got a full swimming pool here, a little sun deck, some trees. But she uses those uh, newer grass pieces for the trees. Yep, I mean, that's awesome. And then uh, we've got uh, Swing by Christina. Um, so those were our five submissions um, from the adults. So thank you, adults, for, for building those. Um, but uh, I think, especially due to a certain aspect, and, and I, I, I can't pull up the video right now for it, um, I think we had a winner. Um, so these were our top three choices, which I don't know why the safe keeps giving us to me. <laughs> safe does not like. There we go. Hey, I fixed the safe. My mom made a sand pit, but she's too scared to show it. Caden, have her submit it anyway. It's fun. It's all in good fun. And, uh, of course, you know, you also have the side note of being able to win something and have some extra things with that, too. So. Um, but anyway, so for our adults, Dave, do you want to announce the winner? Yeah, here we go. We are going with the safe. The safe uh, by Keith. <laughs> that was brilliantly made. Um, he did send us a little video of kind of how it works a little bit. Um, not sure if we could show the video, but it's cool. So when you twist the knobs, made it so there's these two Technic axles that slide in and out on a one by one brick with a hole through it. Technic, mm -hmm. and it was really well done. Like I, I don't. The, the bat symbol is awesome, cool, but. I like the safe for just the safe. Yeah, you know, I think I might be able to pull for that too. That to go here. Okay. Yep. I don't know. It doesn't want to work right now. Okay. So, Keith, congratulations. You are our uh, first You're time winner. winner for the adults. You're our winner. Um, and then uh, congratulations to Madison S. on her um, kid build as well. So we have yeah. our two winners. And then we have to pick, of course, a new letter for our Brick Builds. A new letter. Our Alpha Brick Builds contest here. Um, and we're running out of letters. We're halfway through the letters. Um, so we're, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're going to go ahead and do our little our little spin here on our spinning wheel. No, I'm going to spin. Sorry, you can have to file. All right, I get the next three days in a row. <laughs> we got to change it up. All right. Uh, the next letter is... You can announce it. The letter M. M. Oh, my. We got that M. M is the letter for today. That, that's a good one. I like that one. Go ahead and type it in here. Jeez. So today's letter for tomorrow's new build is letter M. And we're going to put it up in the comments, as you can see it now. So you guys can get right on to that build. Mm -hmm. don't, don't say any nope, words. We're not saying nothing. Like, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, so make sure you have those submitted to us by one o'clock. Um, try to, if you can, um, have your camera in landscape mode, so sideways, um, just like the, uh, the screen you see right now. It makes life a little easier for us to edit all the photos because we do have to go through and, and try to reformat them all um, the sideways. And then uh, make sure you have them in by 1 o'clock. Either submit it to us either right here via Facebook. 1 o'clock. Or uh, email them to us at crestill at bricksandminifigs.com. All spelled out. There is no ampersands. Yeah. Uh, no no, no other it. symbols in there. So just bricksandminifigs.com. Error. So you can click. Yep. And then a uh, quick little update. Uh, we do have our online store currently available. Uh, it is available in our um, description, I believe, up top. I don't know if it's still here or not. But it's uh, BAM, B A M, Crest Hill dot my NCR silver dot com. I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, the link up here in the app too. Um, but one of the nice things is uh, this morning we ended up getting some of our retired sets added on there. So if you can see, we have some of our retired sets here, um, including a bunch of extra bonus photos um, of all of them as well. So you can kind of check all those out online. We have all of our new inbox uh, current sets available on there right now. Um, so you can, can do those too, and then it's just curbside pickup, so you can go ahead and order them online. You can call us on the phone 
here at the store. We do have our, our, our phone number here open, um, so you can call us anytime. Leave a message for us if you need to, and we'll make sure we get them back. Uh, we actually had a lady um, come in yesterday and uh, bought, what, five sets? She, she uh, called ahead and got Three five sets. Three new box, one used, food, dolphin, two boats. And a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> a bunch of extras. That's it. As we call it. It was, um, good. It was a good buy. Thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Uh, so. Do you want to show your, your kids S build? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, it was. Uh, Chris, was that mostly Nicholas that wanted. Nick, Nick wanted to do that, right? Okay. Do you want to show it off? Wanted, do you want to show it? Oh, you should. Okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and show it off. So. My, what, I'm trying to think. he's six and a half now. Uh, my six, or, six and a half year old Nicholas is at home right now. Um, he kind of wanted to show this off. So, hi, Nicholas. Um, but it's one of his favorite things in the world right now. Um, oh, see, our phone's open. Phone line's ringing. It's like one of those tele, um, I can't remember what they're called. Um, if you want to talk, you can put the headset on. Bumpers button. So, this was my son Nicholas's S build. He wanted to show it off today. This is a uh, pixelated Sonic the Hedgehog um, that he made of a little stand. So we, we kind of beefed up the stand a little bit so we can have it set up there. Um, so you can go either way, depending on which way you want him to aim. Um, and then I know he had talked about possibly making a supersonic version of this uh, in all yellow and then with red eyes instead of the black here. Um, but it's a nice just little pixel art, you know, um, kind of like a little old school 8-bit, uh, maybe 16-bit um, with hedgehogs. That's one of the ones that he wanted to show off um, for his little build. Um, so he's he's at home, <laughs> Chill, chilling with my wife. Um, but uh, so we've got that going on. We've got um, uh, I guess we'll we'll just do our, our quick little bad news update uh, that we found out. About Are you sure day. it's bad news? I mean, some well, of it might be good. Some news. of it's some of it's bad news. It's good news. Uh, it's bad news. It's we, news. <laughs> If you if you haven't been paying attention to everything else that's going on in national news, um, President Trump did extend his um, shelter at home um, suggestion, I guess, recommendation uh, until the end of April. Um, so some um, states and governors have already been adjusting that. We haven't heard anything about uh, Illinois yet. So right now we're still set to open um, April 7th or April 8th, whatever. I can't remember if it ends April 7th or if we can actually open it. Um, but uh, we will be open as soon as we can. We'll get our doors open. Uh, hopefully a lot of you at home will come join us uh, for, I guess, our um, grand or our post-coronavirus grand reopening, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, you know, maybe we'll do a special discount for that day, too, just to help uh, boost some people in there. Because everybody's been hurting financially, so we want to try to help you out as much as we can. So. Um, Sarah said they waved. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but that, that's kind of the bad news. I don't know if there's really too much. Yeah, but I mean, we, we talked about that too. Uh, they were going to extend it to the 30th, and uh, we're just waiting for the other governors and such to announce it. However, details to. Um, we know they're extending more testing and stuff, so they went from 2,000 to 4,000, and they're trying to get up to 10,000 more. It was a handful of stuff that they talked about yesterday. But it's like we said, it's probably, yeah, it's going to be long. We're already like three and a half weeks into what's going on, or what we've already been doing, and now, you know, we're going to have another three and a half weeks. So let's do For that, that other announcement from LEGO, is that on their site right now, or is that somewhere else? Um, for the, the Lego news, um, I don't know if it's up on their site yet, because it got revealed. Yeah, it's not up yet. Um, so anyway, um, we have, uh, some news coming in from the Lego group that, uh, they have announced a new set. Do you want to tell them what it is? One set. Oh, okay. Um... So it was actually, I think it's Expert Creator, right? Or is it Technic? It is... It's Technic. No, it's Technic. it is Technic. Um, it is actually a Technic version of Dom Toretto's uh, Dodge Charger uh, from the original Fast and Furious movie. Um, it is a new set that's going to be coming out. I don't have... I don't, think there's I don't know the date yet, just yet. Um, it'll be coming soon. It's already out. Ryan was saying that we are probably getting Paul Walker's car as well. Hopefully we'll get both. Um, which would be awesome. I mean, I was thinking more of that one being the first and the only one, but I did call that this would be the car we would be getting because yeah. it's such an iconic it's awesome. vehicle. 
And if you guys haven't seen it, they got videos up and pictures and everything. It is awesome. It is very well done. And it's only 100 bucks. 100 bucks for like over a thousand pieces. So it's it's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, not up here. So anyway, uh, so that's kind of a cool news uh, from Lego. Um, for a quick brick, brick World updates, um, there really aren't any updates right now. They're still keeping an eye on what is going on. Um, there's been a lot of experts that are saying that this coronavirus thing is going to go until June, possibly, and uh, like June 1st. And yeah. uh, luckily, Brick World is in mid June, so we're hoping. We're hoping, Mark. Yeah, I don't Mark, think if it, you're watching. Um, yeah, I don't think it's. Brick World. <laughs> yeah. We need it to happen. We yeah. need some positivity. I don't think that like it's going to affect June. I think what they're saying is by June, there will have been enough time passed. From what they're hoping is the ending okay. of all this. So by June, it's like, you know, that was just a chapter in our lives kind of ordeal. Um, that's what my understanding was it. So, yeah, it's going to be rough. So, I mean, I've thought of a few of the things we could do during this process of the stream. Um, after I do the robot uh, show-offs and stuff like that. My uh, mech moment, as Ryan said. Yeah, mech moments. <laughs> But then um, it's gonna be our new thing we're we're doing. Yeah, here. so there's a few things we're gonna try to fit into our stream during this long extended time we get. You know. Actually, I just found a photo. I'm gonna try to see if I can. Ooh, a photo! I like photos. Try to throw it up here. Let's... It is a cool car, though. I really dig it. There we go. So there it is. The new Fast and Furious Technic set 42111. Uh, 1,077 pieces. Uh, Dom's Dodge Charger. Fully blown headers. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a cool it, set. On the back, uh, like if you lift up the trunk, there's a, a knob where you could turn the front wheel stuff. And then when okay. it's driving, the whole engine rotates and everything. It is... It is really cool. Yeah. I saw it this morning, and then, like, I was getting ready to come here for the stream, and then my brother ran into my room. He's like, dude. I was like, yeah, I already saw it. I saw it, like, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> he was like, dude. Yeah, I was like, sweet. Yeah, I was like, yeah, dude, that's what I was saying. I was hoping for Paul Walker's car. But... Dave, Dave and I are, are uh, follow so many other Instagram channels through Lego, through yeah, so many other Brick, brick through, and uh, stuff. Beyond the Brick, through, uh, you know, all the guys. Um, so we always get all these details all the time, whether it's, Rumors or, or actual photos where I was trying is, to keep up with This is the second on, so. news we've gotten from Lego about a set coming, but we've already heard these rumors for this set, wow. so it was about time. Yeah. The pirate set, we didn't really know much about. We knew pirates were going to be coming back in some way or form. I knew there was going to be a new idea set, so mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure if it was both the same. Um, and then as for this set being revealed, so Lego's like, been really tight about information. And like, no doing anything for lego right now mm -hmm. i mean people just posted up a new um little thing just reassuring the public and everything and um they were saying that they were providing i think 50 million or 50 million dollars towards like, kids in need and stuff like that too. Stuff. yeah so i was like it was really cool <laughs> of them to do like awesome lego should do dollars set. Yeah, we went. Uh, you know, and that's why we do this stream too. Is we want to make sure that you guys are having some fun at home still. Um, there's uh, a lot of studies and everything else there, and that you know, being social and having um, laughter and fun with everybody else is a good time. And uh, it's really hard to do when you're stuck inside with uh, with just your family and and kind of depressing I mean, you, times. You can still so. have fun with your family. You know? Absolutely, I mean, we had fun, right, Chris? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Um, oh, you heard that? It was an M word right there. <laughs> Don't make that. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get into uh, our time here with uh, Dave's mech moments here. We don't have a cool graphic or anything else made up yet. We're working on that. Um, we just <laughs> came up with like the name a, literally right have a little like, flash slide in there. It was like, David's mech, mech moments. moments. <laughs> like, mech moments with Dave. <laughs> have so, um, anyway, um, you've got our, uh, our sixth robot to share with us, don't you? Yeah. So this is my sixth and final mech for the aim-like mechs that I've made. 
This one's my most detailed one. This one I worked on quite a bit. Um, I actually built it here, off clock and everything. But I had a lot of the pieces at home, so I had to go back. back. Kept everything here because I was like, oh well. But I went up and threw it all together. So this is what I'm going to show you guys. So it's got kind of two different forms essentially. So it's got just a working form, and then it's got uh, offense, defense kind of. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about the Max or anything else going on, uh, feel free to throw them in the chat. We'll be sure to answer all of your questions. Um, we're not going to leave anybody out. So <laughs> Yeah, I'll answer any question you guys have. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to definitely start doing maybe a mech class or something. I know. You can wave, Chris. Okay. You can wave. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> See? No, I'm not. He's been, he's been a little hi. shy. <laughs> he's there. He's not there. He's there. He's not there. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm just back. All right. On to the mech. So, my final mech for AIM. Like I said, don't worry about the T. What, what, what kind of weapons does he have there on the side? So, so like I said, this is construction based too. Drills, so the drills can drill into something, and then the other ones could break up the material. Okay. And just flip this. Does he actually have to pull them off? I think someone needs to come up with a little part for that, a new maybe a new one that can. Yeah, that it could rotate on its own. That would be so awesome. I like those longer. Uh, yeah. So now I could pick up stuff and I could drill into more as I'm crushing it. Ah, so can... oh, yeah, look at that. That looks brutal. Inverted slope here to cover it up, with a little bit more style. And then, like I said, I I flip stuff upside down a little bit. A little arch. Okay. So then the back. Up. Okay. It's a little side cannon. Look, I'm off. Taking my stuff. <laughs> this is, these are from the Nexo Knights, so it shoots these. Hey, watch out where you're going there. No, I wasn't trying to shoot the camera. <laughs> so, I could use this as like a big antenna. I could use a shoulder blaster and rotate. <laughs> Where's that? Back, back. Back. Now I'm gonna show you the other hand. The other hand is kinda of cool. I mess with this. Oh. So, kind of looks like a little fort like pick up stuff. Then if I want twisted that around. This one requires a lot more uh, transformation effort. <laughs> oh. So far, I think I like the weapons on this one, though. If you guys are just joining us, we're uh, we're doing uh, a do little mech way. moment here with Dave. He's showing off his sixth aim open. style robot here. It's got like little claws. That's cool. Claw and little plasma rifle or plasma weapon. Discharge. Okay. So now, the offense is defensive. Things move pretty well. Keep moving. <laughs> like I said, cool. this one's my more detailed one. Um, and the color scheme works more with the newer AIM sets that are out. Um, even though the green here is supposed to be that lighter green, I thought the darker green. So I might do that with the other stuff that actually makes the AIM. Okay. But yeah, this is my final one here. Awesome. So this is number six and final. Do you, do you have the other five here still? Yep, I have the other five. Why don't you, you, why don't you uh, grab them all real quick and put them all next to each other so everybody can yeah, see. Yeah, and then I can take a photo of all of them. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like Chris is already doing that. Um, and yep. uh, you want to have me Chris's other mech up there? Well, we showed that one already. I know, but it's got the wings back on it. Oh, just to show off the wings? Yeah. So okay. for uh, those of you who joined us the other day, we, we were showing off uh, my son's mech that he's got going on here. Um, it is built based off of one of the three-in-one creator sets, but we beefed up the legs a little bit. Um, he's got some extra chunky legs here, um, as well as uh, some extra tile work to kind of finish him off. Um, he doesn't currently have his giant minigun on there, as Chris has been working with it. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to bring the whole tray, but okay. Good job. Jetpack yeah. wings with foldable, foldable wings on the back. Got a little cool setup here. Uh, and then Dave's just lining up his... 
army of other mechs behind me here. Of the other Black. six that he was showing off. I'll put these photos up later for everybody to yeah, see. So we'll have we'll have a couple photos of uh all these mechs up here. Got uh Yeah, this is the one with the blades. Rip up there. There we go. Flame got a couple different mechs here. All different style weapons. Yeah, the, the, also the the new one he just showed off, along with a couple of the other ones. And the last one he just showed off is definitely bigger. I think the biggest one out of all six. Yep, it's the bigger one. one if, I, I, if I do this angle right here, you can clearly see Davey would have set yeah. that one back down right I, next to him. I increased it. Put that one down there. Yeah. Um, so that way you can actually see he's he's probably about a half an inch taller than the other. Yeah. I increased it along black pin. Oh, and okay. The cylinder. They get an extra long. So the torso. waist is a little bit longer and there's more mobility because I had these up here. I still needed. His legs could twist now. Still needed a little bit of that, so that's why they're bigger. And I could make do the same thing with these, mm -hmm. but I I like them going from like small to big because this one's my smaller one here, but then you know it gets bigger from that. Okay. So I just cool. kind of liked how that worked together. But yeah, those are my six A mechs that I built. Um, you can clearly tell that I used Nexo Knight armor from Axel because um, the color and everything fits with the same kind of stuff that's out right now. And then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be that special one I've been talking about, that headless one. Shoot. So I'm gonna ha I have that all ready. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go over that one. That one's gonna be a little bit longer to talk about. I want to really talk about that one because that one means a lot to me. I spent a lot of time working on that, and it's pretty big. I mean, it's like twice the size of this one. <laughs> twice the size of this one but, but it's not like a, where i could put a minifig in it's very it's very technical there's a lot of advanced builds in there that i worked on there's two non-lego bricks on there but oh well okay uh and then chris today has brought in his uh one of the newer lego ninjago sets um the remake of the golden ninja mech is that right golden ninja mech i think um so he did they did some extra he and dave have been working a little bit extra today to add some extra functionality and things to it he's got a little improved cockpit up here the mr lloyd gold ninja up here hanging out um he's got this uh little cockpit window that they've added on there to it as well chris i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it i'll make sure um, we can hear him he's... are you muted again chris Turn your, turn your headset around. You guys keep doing that. <laughs> if, if the headset's on backwards, it doesn't work. Now try talking. Hello? There you go. Try, okay, now you're good. On the back of the Mac, we added a sword holder that you can just take it out and then turn this hand. Okay. We got like a little pin in the, each hand there that it slides into. That's cool. Up to secure the sword. And then his buds are posable. Oh, look at that. Actually, that's a really good fighting stance. Check that out. So for those of you uh, who are interested, uh, who like this mech, we do actually have this one still for sale. Uh, price here is $39.99. Um, Currently available, uh, Christopher and, and Dave did some really easy, really quick um, modifications to it to it make it look a little extra cool. Things that did take off. You gotta speak a little louder, Chris. When we take these off, they turn into rocket launchers. Okay. Once you fold them up. Cool. We also have some cushioning for Lloyd. For Lloyd too. for his back. <laughs> some back cushion. Gotta be comfortable when riding in the giant mech, huh? Then we added the windshield. Then when it's in its um like resting pose. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any questions at all for Christopher, make sure you let him know in the comments here. Then that can fold down and Lloyd can 
walk down and then jump down. Okay. Well, he's a ninja. He's got those awesome moves, right? Those awesome ninja moves? Yep. <laughs> All right. Anything else you, you guys did? Any, anything else you guys modified on this? Nope. No? Just a couple of modifications to, to create some extra weapons and stuff. Um, but then uh, with this here, Dave brought in um, another little toy as well. Because, of course, you know, we are, we are kids at heart, so we like to play. Remember yesterday said that Chris was going to bring this. I was like, dude, if you bring this, I was like, if you bring this mech, I'll bring something big so we can fight. We have a whole little mech battle, sort of. Brought something. I kind of modified too, but I'm sure everybody knows this. Ooh. The Oni Titan. Like an But then what I did is I'm using these here. Shooters from uh, Alien Conquest or I what it's not Alien Conquest is a different one. But I got this here, so this can lift up, and I can take this off the Technic okay. pin right here. Almost got like a little sheath. Yeah, a monster back sheath. Mm -hmm. You actually have the same parts here that uh, are on the gold mech too. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, and stuff. it's very similar in build, so I just modified it a little bit. Uh, the legs don't bend, but I kind of like that it doesn't really bend. But I fixed the arms because this was one stud out, and I was like, that's kind of getting in the way where I could have a straight shoot. Was, uh, why don't you set that next to the gold max here? We can see a kind of size comparison. There. Like I said. So if you can see, it's pretty significant as far as uh, size difference. Got some good height difference. But their feet are, are very similar um, in how they're built um, as far as, like, little bases here, except for these. You, they went ahead with these uh, smaller. And actually, I think these little wings have been on some of the little city cars and stuff like that, too. Mm -hmm. um, the gold mech actually uses them up here for their shoulders. So really cool blades. Definitely uh, built off the whole ninja samurai kind of look. Um, you know, um, yeah, and these are just especially this one. It's got uh, uh, yeah, mass, and these are just actual Lego sets. So I just modify them. Yep, just modify Lego sets, um, and that's one of the things that's really good about Lego. Um, thank you, Christopher, for bringing that in. Um, but that's one of the good things about Lego sets is you don't have to keep it, you know, stock. Make it what you want out of it. Um, have some fun with it. So it's what makes Lego unique is that uh, you can take any regular set and just tweak it just a little bit to make it your own that no one else in the world's got. Yeah, so what I was teaching Chris is, like, Lego has gaps. And stuff. So I was showing him how he could, like, cover up some of the what he could do with a few different parts. And I was like, honestly, the set is great. You really oh, Chris, Mr. Creasy's anything. on. He says hi. <laughs> you can wave. You can't wave, but you can really get in the camera. <laughs> and then you saw Lloyd <laughs> Chris in the set. <laughs> so, the Master Wu. All the characters for the Golden Ninja. And Stone Army Archer. Yeah, I probably won't because we're still in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the yeah. general black outfit, new legacy line. I like the red one. The black ones? Yep. Let's look at them. So those are the figs that come in this set too because you guys already saw Lloyd. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys have any questions uh, about any of the next, let us know. Um, and then we'll, we can definitely answer some of those questions for you. Um, again, we've got our, our letter S. Uh, that was uh, picked today, and then our uh, our new letter. What was our new letter going today? For letter tomorrow? M. Letter M. The M letter is in Mary. M. Um, is coming in tomorrow. Uh, so get your submissions in by one o'clock. And yeah, so that's what we got going on for the, the Alphabet Builds contest. We got our mech moments today. Um, what are we? Uh, what are you bringing in tomorrow? You said you bring in the big one tomorrow. I'm gonna bring in a much bigger robot. Um, it's a special one. I've been talk hinting at a little okay. bit. Um, after these six AIM robots that I've been showing off the past few days, so this is day seven essentially, so a week's worth of robots. Cool. I will say I definitely have another week's worth of robots. Um, and I'm not going to go too further because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, and if you want, you guys more. can build yours at home. If you guys uh, like any yeah. of these builds that uh, Dave's been doing or anything like that, um, we are going to be doing a mech display uh, once we open. We're going to start it all up. 
Um, we we're not going to have it available right away because we want to give everyone some time to bring theirs in still because we did have a, Yeah, I'm about sure everybody who's at home in. is definitely having more than enough time to work on their Macs. It's just a matter of who brings them in mm -hmm. once we're officially opened or even if we're not open. Drop it by and just kind of get it out of the way. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're big or small. They could be, you know, two inches. They could be eight inches, maybe a foot, yeah. depending on how tall you want to get. get yeah, so the, we'll we haven't, we haven't really done much of the display. I cleaned the display, and then I put in some stuff. And then we had a buddy, Mike, who brought in buildings, three modular buildings, that he said that I could just wreck a little bit. Uh, so I was like, dude, this is awesome. Uh, I'm going to have fun kind of wrecking these buildings to make it look like there is a battle scene and everything and then um the rest of it's gonna be like badlands mm -hmm. the wasteland the rock and everything so, and trash yeah we'll just, got some uh some old plane parts and those little engines yeah well i'll there. figure it out <laughs> some, tra I'll, some treads so it's like yeah. maybe uh maybe joe just can help us with uh, a couple cog wheels and some make some treads so it looks like a tank or something just trash like well, we have plenty of treads so we don't have no, i'm talking about the wheels for it though so it actually could, oh, we can make a little assembly out of it yeah the gear the black gear we have enough tending for it too so yeah so i mean uh we've definitely talked about it um it just kind of sucks a bit because we're not open and uh so the whole goal with the display is i want riley who works with us to with me, um, he works on Max too. Actually, been designing one for a while. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult for this working on, but he built one a while back. That's awesome, really awesome. With dark blue, black. You guys will see eventually. Yep. So I want to be able to to work on the whole display with him. Um, I don't really have to almost do the whole thing and then have him come in and do little parts here and there, which is fine too. But I wanted to be able to both of us work on it together. So this, I do that. We're both here at the same time, ordeal. So I mean, we'll see how that pans mm -hmm. out once the better and we're uh, fully opening it. Um, I know Ryan brought up the uh, website for us earlier. Uh, we did add probably some more. Add that link in there again. Yeah, add the link in there again. Um, so we did put up a lot more product in there. Some newly new in box retired sets. We're gonna get the rest of them up right after this. So that'll be taken care of today, and then in the next few days we'll have all of our certified sets there on the website and then uh you know the little things here and i think we have those uh led keychains i put up there unless you already did that so we're definitely working to get that in i know ryan's got his little photo camera box here so we can up and get it up there with a nice clear background make it look good on the website so we're excited to get this more up and running so if you guys are looking for products if you guys really are, like some lego to be you know dropped off to you at the curb here or Whatever you like, we definitely have tons of as it takes. There we go. So definitely check it out. Links here at the bottom of the comments. Um, yep. So yeah, I I think we're pretty much set. Today was today was really good with the S build. We really enjoyed the S builds. So tomorrow's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we actually uh, we had a message earlier too, uh, just to, for some clarification. Um, one of the reasons why we picked it was not because it was an S per se, because we we don't want you just to make a letter. Uh, yes. It was more of the fact that of the artwork of the seasons on the S. Yes. Um, so the representation of the season. So the that's fact why that you could see the transition from spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's what brought us into it. Um, because S is the first letter of the season, not because she actually. Right. Um, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered if it was a plate uh, with seasonal transitions or not. Yeah. We just looked at it and it was like, wow, this could be like a really cool art piece to put in a wall. Yeah, we actually had another one. Uh, it was a s'more. Uh, that somebody submitted, and I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "They could just be on a." It was only four plates um, stacked together, you know, in color color <laughs> coordination to represent us more. Um, but I was telling Dave that you know we could walk into a gallery and just see that in a giant print, and I could I could totally see five or six people just staring, like, "Wow, it's a really good use of uh, of uh, plate work yes. and the, the color choice that they used to pick that." You know, yes, um, yes. so that's why we went with that S. Uh, just to, for clarification, I know some people were asking earlier. Um, it yeah, was not. We don't want you to just S. make the letter. Like, no. That's there's no fun in that if you're just making the letter that we choose that we randomly get from the wheel. We want you to be creative. We want a representation of that letter. Correct. Right. Even if you're incorporating that letter as part of the build, that's not what we're looking yeah, for. The, the, any anything that uh, any letter that's actually in the build is irrelevant. Uh, yeah. If if you include that in the build, it, it pretty much we don't pay attention to it, so just don't make it a letter. I mean, we, we <laughs> acknowledge that you made the letter S, and then you incorporated other things, such as what 
did. But we're not looking for a letter. Anybody could just yeah, make a letter out of letter. Lego. We're looking for the creativity, the out of the box build for Lego. Mm-hmm. That's and and we do also want to let everybody know too is that there were submissions done as well um, that we actually have seen before, um, and that uh, were, um, for lack of a better term, some some copies, um, almost plagiaristic copies. Um, so just like school, you know, we want it to be an original design um, from you as much as possible. We don't want something that you could just Google um, and find. Not that, not that you didn't do a bad job. Oh, no. It, was, it looked cool, but um, you're definitely going to get more bonus points for having an original creation. Right. If you create it yourself, mm-hmm. of course. So, um, I don't know. Chris, you got anything else you want to add nope. today? Nope. He's good. Dave? No, I think we're good. Today was good. We got a lot in. Um, Lego news, some real world news. I have to mm-hmm. show off a bunch of mechs, and I'll take photos of all of them. And his newest one, sixth one. And then tomorrow... Tomorrow, that one's going to be really show off. Um, personally, I don't know if I'm going to be taking some photos to put that one up there. I could. It really doesn't matter. Um, just because that's what I've been doing with the rest. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I might just show it off on the stream. I don't know yet. Okay. Um, but it is headless, but I did put the head on it to show you what I did. But I'm not going to show it to you with the head on there. I'm going to show it to you without the head. And I want people to guess in the comments... Why I made this what headless. it's for. <laughs> and what it's for. The headless mech. I'm not saying who, what, where, and when. I'm not doing all that. So it's going to be cool. I really I really hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to show you guys tomorrow. I'm really happy to show this one off. I've, I've never showed it off in public. And I've never seen any of this. So this you've is never the, seen this. This is the first time I've seen, seen any seen of this, this as well. So. Um, some of the little mechs he, he might have seen because I've had them in and out of the shop. But this been, one he's, he's never seen. <laughs> These are mine. <laughs> no, this is not. <laughs> no. Um, but, but yeah, this one is really special. I, I worked a yeah. long time on this. A lot smaller, not as creative. Um, I can tell you, here's, here's a hint. I can tell you, when I first was building this, I used a lot of old droid parts. I can tell you that. So, like, if you guys know Star Wars, if you know how the droids are made with their bodies and their legs and arms, uh, you. That's what I first did, as skeletal like. That's how it was originally. Was a lot of those parts. By four length bars, yeah, the four length bars like the lightsaber blades and a few other bricks and stuff here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I still have that as part of the skeletal build, but that's that's the only hint I'm gonna give you. Okay. Well, on that note, um. We're going to go ahead and, and call it call it yeah. done for today. We've got uh, gave you guys a little bit of news. We had our uh, winners from our S builds announced today. Our letter for tomorrow is letter M, if you missed it earlier. Uh, M is in Mary, not N is in Nick. Um, those are due in by 1 o'clock tomorrow, uh, which is Tuesday, uh, uh-huh. Central Standard Time. So if you guys are joining us from across the country, make sure that it is on time. Um, and then uh, we will be uh, going over that winner tomorrow. Uh, maybe have some updated uh, political news as far as the state of what's going maybe on. Maybe some Illinois new Lego here. news. We don't know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll even we'll find some more photos of uh, that new Technic set, uh, Dom's Dodge Charger, and have that available here as well. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure you let us know. Um, make sure you uh, send those to us, to either one of us, to Joe, um, our Unilog ambassador uh, mm-hmm. that's joined us on the show in the past. Uh, maybe for Jessica or Boone over at Lego Masters. Um, we've been in touch with all of them lately, so I'm sure they would have no problem answering any questions you have. Yeah, of course. So get okay. excited. We're going to have another one tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's have a good night. Keep all building. Right. Yep. We'll see you guys later. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs> Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flying